we begin with the newest member of Britain's royal family who spent the night in the hospital along with his proud parents. Of course, the celebrations, though, they continue both in Britain and worldwide. That's what we've been talking about. Yeah, our coverage beginning now live in London with ABC's Nick Shiprin. Good morning, Nick. Hey, good morning, John. Good morning, Diana. From a very excited London, the United Kingdom has a new royal heir. His Royal Highness, the Prince of Cambridge. Not a small guy, eight pounds, six ounces, the heaviest future king in a hundred years. And he emerged after ten years of labor, and oh, how the Brits are excited. 4.24 p.m. July the 22nd, the moment the future king entered the world. We welcome, with humble duty, a future king. The great Kate Waite, finally over. Buildings blurted out the news, fountains bubbled over in blue, and a whole country celebrates by, how else, drinking. So yeah, I just got in time to burst my bubbles and raise a toast to the new prince. We've been celebrating all evening, so we've been out in the pub having drinks, champagne. Perhaps William is toasting inside the Lindo wing. The new family's inside doing just fine. He released a statement saying, quote, we could not be happier. Earlier, the official announcement was filled with pomp and tradition. Kate's doctor signed a paper on Buckingham Palace letterhead. It was driven through London with a police escort. And outside the palace, it was placed on an easel not used since William's birth. It's a wonderful moment for a warm and loving couple. May we see your son, your Royal Highness. On Tuesday, that couple may emerge from the hospital exactly as William's parents did 31 years ago. Kate will bring glamour to royal motherhood not seen since Diana. But unlike Diana, Kate will have her husband's full support. William has always talked about how important family is to him. You know, he had a very special bond with his mother. Um, he's very close to his father. I think he'll make a great family man. And a giddy nation celebrating a historic day. And we don't know the little feller's name yet, but we do know that because he's a royal, he doesn't even need a last name. The family's already received good wishes from across the pond. Michelle Obama personally tweeting, congratulations, being a parent is the best job of all. John, Diana. All right, Nick, so the question is, with all of this reaction worldwide, people going crazy over this birth, what are some of the things, you being in London, that you're seeing and you're hearing when you're walking the streets? Well, this is not only London, this is an empire here, and thank you very much. The Queen's <laughs> realms are all celebrating. Uh, in Canada, we have the CN Tower uh, in Toronto, one of the tallest buildings there, bathed in blue nearby. Uh, Niagara Falls, also bathed in blue. I think he, you're sensing a little trend here. At least back in London, you have the London Eye, red, white, and blue. Uh, a little pride for a country that usually complains about the weather, the economy, or frankly, complains about everything, now <laughs> suddenly beaming for the new royal baby. They've had a lot of good news lately there. Wimbledon winners and all kinds of good things. Nick, uh, the eyes of the world are going to be on uh, Duchess Kate as a royal mother. What do you think we can expect? Yeah, I think Kate was one of the world's most photographed women. Now she'll be one of the most photographed mothers. And I think that's a real echo of Diana. Uh, Diana was hounded by the press hounded by the paparazzi, and she once turned to them and said, look, as a parent, I want to protect my children, stay away from me. And Kate may have the same sentiment, but a lot of royal watchers I talked to say that Kate's had a really strong family behind her. She'll be able to retreat away from the palace to her parents' place, and that will mean she can hopefully develop a slightly thicker skin to avoid all of the judgment that will notoriously fill the tabloids here. No doubt about that. Nick Schifrin in London, thank you so much for your reports.